All right, welcome uh, to the playthroughs for the 2019 TGCT Rookie Design Challenge. Uh, going to be playing Sweet Tooth Hills. Let's go ahead and uh, create this match. We'll do it on the regular default conditions. Play it from the back tees. I'm gonna play, uh, we'll play pin one, sure. Go ahead. Now in the playthrough, I'm gonna give some commentary uh, on the course um, as I go through it. Um, I'm gonna try to highlight some of the playability, uh, good and bad, um, <clears throat> some ideas that may have made the course better, uh, some things about the course that I like, uh, that I thought are really either um, interesting, inventive, well planted, things like that. Um, so we'll go through some of that critique um, as we play Hello through the course. To the Golf Club 2019, featuring PGA Tour. And I'm John, and today's course starts with a par four first hole. Let's give this one a go. All right, so let's get rid of John. Uh, commentary volume. Turn John off. Bye, John. See you later. All right, so first hole coming up. Uh, I like the... It's, the lighting's a little bit bright, um, which looks good, um, but it doesn't allow the bunkers to get any kind of really doesn't allow you to take advantage of any of the shadows uh, in the bunkers so the bunkers look kind of just kind of there um, uh, interesting choice to frame the T boxes with uh, the brick wall um, and also interesting choice to um, connect the T boxes to the fairway with a strip of fairway. Um, and we'll talk about that uh, as we go on. So first hole, uh, it's short. Um, so when I play, I don't like to have to hit any pitches. I find that they're temperamental. Uh, so uh, I'm going to try to avoid hitting to under 100 yards uh, so that's my general strategy uh, from a look perspective off the tee looks this hole looks looks okay it's, it's clear it's well laid out um, these bunkers in the front here the, these bunkers right here these two um, get lost a little bit uh, and that has to do with the flat uh, this lake or pond is, it's sort of one of those features that's just, okay, I want a pond on this hole and I put a pond in. Um, instead of it being, hey, this hole was placed around the lake, this kind of just looks like a really big puddle. Um. So kind of what I'm looking for around the course is, are there any other holes nearby um, you know, that could maybe share uh, this, this lake? So it looks like the holes were built around the lake rather than the lake being fit into the hole. Um, so that's kind of what I see there. Uh, when it comes to this fairway strip, uh, I think it would be important to outline the fairway strip with a band of light rough. And the reason I think that is because when we come down to here, right, and I move this up here, I have this weird pattern here where I've got the fairway coming in and it's sort of got light rough here. So, so one of two choices here. Uh, one, um, do away with the light rough altogether is an option. 
um, or uh, put light rough around the edge of the fairway or use light rough as your surface to connect this um, which is something that I've done on a few courses Okay, uh, fairway is plenty wide um, it's almost where it's too wide um, and then this green is just too big it's enormous for the size for the length of this approach shot which is anywhere and I laid up um, anywhere from 120 to 70 yards or 60 yards um, this green is enormous Just missed that putt. Yeah. So interesting opening hole. Okay. All right, second hole, par five. Um, again, these bunkers aren't really dictating uh, play. Uh, they don't encroach on the fairway in any way. Um, this bunker here, just cut into that hill, is just a little odd. I think what should happen is we should flatten this pan out, and that you have one high grassy wall on the outside and a low lip, a small lip on the inside. Uh, and then this spot here... Uh, the sculpting needs to be improved. It needs to just kind of smooth that out a little bit. Minor, minor thing. Uh, bunker on this side's a little better. I'd like to see this finger kind of lowered and flattened to be the same uh, height in terms of depth as the pan here, but it's not terrible. All right, so again, got a really wide fairway. I like this area where it kind of chokes up, chokes off a little bit. This should be like this should be the the uh, landing area it should be choked off like that rather than this really wide area down here. Uh, because and the reason I say that is the landing area is so wide that there's no risk for pulling out the driver on master clubs and taking a big old hack at it. I mean, this green is... The first green was enormous. This green is, is beyond enormous. Like, it, it's, it's really big. Um, really, really big. Uh... Again, bunkers aren't really impacting play, these two. Uh, they don't encroach on anything. Uh, this bunker is okay in, in a spot. This bunker here is also okay. Um, this bunker on the right of the green, the first one, doesn't have any impact. It's just kind of there. too far planting in the back is pretty good pretty interesting I don't know that I like the path goes all the way and touches the uh, light rough there but um, just planting with the bushes and stuff with the trees behind, it looks pretty good. An interesting part three. Interesting idea here. Um, I like the idea of the bunkers with the step, the stairs in it. 
I like the green, the fairway apron to the back left of the green. Uh, bunkers come into play in the front um, for sure. All right, interesting that they have the rock and the, the bushy area. It's pretty interesting. Uh, nothing's marked out of bounds, so make sure to play, take it on playable. I like the fence in front. That's a good idea. Um, this sculpting on this bunker. This bunker is pro either too deep or too big or it's, it's okay. But these steps, why do these steps not continue down? Like why, do you, you know, if I hit the ball here, why do I have to climb in the sand to get to these steps? And it just seems like they're not at the bottom. They don't come to the bottom of the pan. Uh, it's just a little area for improvement there. Uh, green is of better size on this hole. Two ninety four. Ah, what are my options here? I like the look of from the point where the fairway starts to the bunkers behind the green. Um, I like that look. Um, the course feels a little bit empty. Um, to frame the hole, like on the right hand side and on the left, that just looks like a lot of empty space. Um, you know, like this area. You know, just there isn't much going on here in terms of interest. Uh, playability, this green and area is like, it's really big and. These bunkers here, they look like they really encroach on the play, but in reality, they don't. Uh, and what I mean by that is if I draw a line from the T to the edge of this green, right, it doesn't cross the bunker. So even if I put a pin close to the edge, these bunkers don't actually get in the way. Um... Love that for bird. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. That feels like a bogey. I do like the little areas around the sign that points me to the next hole. I think that's a good touch. All right, so I have a, a bridge here. Let's take a look at this lake. So again, this lake just appears built for this hole, right? It's like, it just doesn't look natural. Um, I think what needs to happen with this hole is I don't see the lake. I see the bridge. I don't see the water from the tea is everything, the entire thing, um, it just needs to be, needs to be dropped, like, we just need to lower the T, um, 
maybe so that it's not downhill and you see the water from the tea. Because how cool would it be if you were looking at it like this and it was an uphill <coughs> type of hole. So just something like that. Because um, you lose the water. Um, but also the water, like I said, just looks like it's not part of this hole. Um... These circle bunkers. I think I would like to see more of this style of bunkering on the left, because I think we've got more interest and more depth. The only thing I would like to see with these is to take um, the fuzzy oval brush, uh, first page, second row, all the way to the right, and make it about twice the width of these circle bunkers, put it on just behind the back edge and raise it up three, four feet just to create um, a mounding effect behind the bunker. It just adds a little bit to it. Um, has a little bit of visual interest. Um, I'd also like to see the bunkers sort of encroach on the playing surface. Now I'm playing from the back tee. Uh, if I was moved the tee up, um, these bunkers would really be in play where I would have to think, can I carry them to get to this part of the fairway? So I like that. Uh, from the back tee, it's, I really don't have a choice. Um, I just hit here, and these bunkers do not get in the way. Like This bunker should be here. So that when I'm playing from the back tee, my options are bomb it over it, hit through the needle, or lay up. Um, and then it doesn't affect, if I move up a tee, it doesn't affect that tee. Now that's where, that's one minor critique. This bunker here should be, come to about here. Um, just so that it creates a little bit more strategy to the hole. The screen's a little bit big. It's not as big as, as number two. That's a little bit big. Um, bunkers are better. Um, this just seems decorative. But this bunker's in a good spot. Those bunkers in the back, um, because the green is not so huge, they come into play also. Um... Oh, missed way right. The sculpt did a little bit better. I think I would like this course um, with simpler shapes to the bunkers um, because I think they're executed better. So it's okay to do simple shapes if they're executed well. Um, they're better than poorly executed fingery or squiggly or rough edge type of bunkers um, so my advice would be um, work on the sculpting of the squiggly bunkers and until that's hand you get a really good handle on that I would stick to the simple shapes because you can use a single brush to sculpt them and just drop them down Again, bunkers are kind of, they're just on the sides. They don't get in the way. Uh, all right, so this green is just as large as some of the previous greens, especially the ones on one, the one on five. But in this case, it's a good thing because I've got a long approach. Uh, this hole's 505, and I've got, I've hit a bomb with the wind on my back. I've got 170 uh, to the pin. But if there was wind in my face, I would have might have 200 in. And for a hole of that length, you definitely want the green to be larger than average. So in this case, the large green is suited to this hole.
Zeppelin back there. See, it would be really cool if this feature over here was shared by something on the other side. And it just isn't. Yeah, the feature's there. At least you can kind of see that something's going on over there. I can see the bunkers pretty well. This is pretty good. Um, this hole here where I've... Now I've got some strategy. This is the first hole where I feel like the fairway shape is dictating. Uh, play a little bit. And the bunkers... The placement of bunkers is dictating the play a little bit. Um, I like the idea of bouncing it down. So from a playability perspective, uh, pretty interesting hole. I would like to see... A little bit more risk in that, but it, it's a it's pretty good um, for this shot. Um, again, if you play it the long way, uh, the screen's a little bit big, but not it's not terrible. It's, it's probably about one and a half, about about fifty percent larger than it needs to be. So here, this bunker does encroach on the fairway. A runoff green here. five a little slightly into the wind uh, so it's a little better um, I've got to carry this bunker which could be a problem with pro clubs especially depending upon wind um, if for longer clubs the farther I hit it the narrower it gets so uh, some at least decisions to make wind is like perfect for this um, so what I find interesting about this is it's the same rock used here looks all right looks pretty good it's interesting it looks like a, a wall like you took a pattern and built a wall I just find it weird it starts here also it's really close to the green. Uh, I don't know if there's a pin to close to the front, but that's going to be a pain in the neck. Right. See if the wind slows this down. It's pretty good. One thing that I haven't seen, uh, or I should that I have seen, is um, the greens are, in terms of sloping, um, there are places where it's slopey, but so far on the front, there were not um, really any tiers or anything. It's pretty conservative in terms of green tiering. Um, 
and here we finally we get one that's a little more aggressive, a little more risky. Uh, this is pretty good. It's about, you know, for a playable area, and the height difference between tiers is about as high as I think you should go. Um, but now I've got the option to roll it up. Right, I can hit short and roll it up, or I can hit it to here, hit the slope and have it come down. Which is, uh, I'm going to hit it to here and we'll see where it goes. What the? I don't know what happened. I'm going to re-hit. I don't know what happened on my swing there. Very slow backswing. That was weird. That's a shame. Ah, now I have a fast. That's a direct reaction to whatever happened on the last shot. Yeah, you definitely didn't want to be here. This is the one place you don't want to be on this hole. Is I'm going to put this up on this hill, and it's going to roll like a mile past. That's eh, not too bad. I can live with that. So far, it's the best hole. go. Bunkers are getting in the way. A little contouring going on with the bunkers back here, so it looks like we kind of got that idea. Pretty nice. I'm going to start picking up the pace a little bit. Sun went behind a cloud. So here we go. So here's a, an example of a bunker that affects only the back portion of the green. This is a pretty cool idea, this beam. Um, What's interesting about this green slope is that it slopes the right side. So if I want to get this close, I would have to hit an almost perfect shot to the square. Like, I would have to hit it right there and let it feed down. Um, I don't know what I'm going to try to do. It's going right. Come back left. Uh, I was not perfect. And I missed. I think that's a an interesting... Because it's a shorter hole, I think that works. If this hole was longer, I'd want the green to slope the other way. So that you can hit a slope and roll uh, toward this corner. So the fact that it's a short hole... Um, that green sloping works pretty well for this hole. Five oh nine par five. At a five oh five par four four. Um, again, the bunkers are actually in the way. So that's good. I'm gonna swallow it on my ball if I hit a bad one. Uh, I wish this hole would be a little bit longer. My swing plane missed that. Look at that. Terrible swing.
It's a cheap birdie. Bunker on the corner. What a terrible swing. I don't know how I missed by that much, but okay. That'll work. Even better. Almost like this green is intentionally huge. Just feels like it, it's either intentionally huge or we lost the scale. I can't tell which is which. Because it's so big, it's just that a lot of it, a lot of the danger in that sloping doesn't come into play at all. Because the green is so big. This fairway is narrow. It's narrow the whole way, though. There's not a safe spot. I think I would like this bunker to... This bunker. That one. To be just gone. I mean, safe layup, and now I've got this to navigate. I don't want to take a chance. It's a weird shape green. Just some of the green shapes are very odd, like this one. And then some of them are just, it's a round green. It's very simple, or it's a figure eight green, or a peanut shaped green, I should say. Um, it's just a, be consistent. If you're going to go with crazy shapes, then go crazy shapes. Don't just do it on some holes. Because then it just doesn't look right. Everything seems so spread out. Also, I like this false front here, this, this back, this runoff back here. Um, maybe what I would do is put some fairway behind it so it actually runs away. Because uh, if I end up over there, all I need to do is chip it back on. I don't feel okay. I hit it. We see because I ended up so close, even in the rough. It's not an actual 
haphazard. You just chip it up and put it in and move on. View that roll down, and I've got a 24 yard flop up the hill. That's tough to get close. Fairway's really wide. Can I make this eagle? I've already missed one in straight putt. All right, pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'd like to see some of these hazards, these lakes, be part of the course, be part of the landscape instead of being, oh, this hole needs a lake, put a lake in. Um, I think, again, I would have gone with simpler bunker shapes, uh, which are easier to sculpt. I thought where there were round or bean-shaped bunkers, they were fairly well sculpted and neat. Um, where there were more um, freehand type of bunkers, uh, the sculpting of those was, was not really as good. Um, I think, you know, for the pay attention to the off course areas, the areas around the grounds of the course, just to. Not because they affect playability, but because they do bring visual interest um, to the course. And maybe that's uh, some hills and some rocks, or a row of trees and some plants and some flowers, and or maybe it's a creek that runs along or something. Uh, even if it doesn't affect the playability. And then the last critique is uh, pay attention to your scaling. Uh, some of the greens are, are really, really big. Um, some of the fairways are really, really big. Measure that out. Know what, how far, how wide a, a safe fairway is. Know how wide a narrow fairway is. Um, know an, at the average size of a green. Uh, learn that longer shots, large, slightly larger greens, not overboard. Um, shorter approaches need small, you know, can have smaller greens. Um, as a rule of thumb, it's not uh, certainly a rule. Um, you know, there's plenty of exceptions. And then it's be consistent uh, with the the theme or the um, sort of the flow of the course. And this hole and this hole and this hole, Stevie holes look like they're part of the same course as the next three or the next two or the front and the back kind of they look like they're the same course and the, the bunker style is the same the green style is the same uh, the way the way that um, the planting is done is similar uh, except where we have main features things like that just keep the course uh, going this to the holes they may have different features um, but they feel like they're part of the same, like all the grounds outside. Pay attention to that. That's uh, really, really uh, important. Uh, from a playability standpoint, in terms of difficulty, I think the course plays really easy. Um, and greens are not, they're pretty conservative. They're not that they're, they're not good, but they're, or they're not challenging but they're conservative in their styling and that there's lots of room uh, away from a tier or there aren't many tiers or things like that, except you, you can kind of see uh, the progression. It looks like this course was done. I didn't, I started, I had no idea. First hole and then by <clears throat> we get to later in the course, 10, 11, 12, for the farther on you get down, uh, you know, some of the things that are attempted are more aggressive, more interesting. 
um, and the holes play better. I thought the back nine is significantly better than the front, um, and that's to be expected uh, in a new design. Uh, but overall, it's pretty cool. It's fun to play. Um, it's pretty low stress. Uh, definitely recommend uh, anybody give it a play. Uh, go and enjoy yourself on this course.